friends. Hey friends. So today I have a sonogram appointment. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired already. But we'll see how the baby's doing, right? No. Yeah. No. We'll see how the baby's doing, how he's growing. Um Um, but yeah, and today is meet the teacher. Meet the who? Today he meets his teacher today. Meet. Hopefully I get to drop off his supplies. No. His backpack. That Mom. way. Mom, that's it. You and me and Dad will come to the, you. I'm gonna you and you and Dad. I'm gonna show you my schoolwork. Yeah, today. No. And so. I'm gonna see if I can drop off his backpack that way. That way, um, that way, uh, Friday. What day? Uh, uh, stop. That way, Friday, okay, get he, he's ready to go. No, I'm no. so ready for him to go. Like, no. I'm beyond ready for him to go to school. Why? Because he needs to go to school. But I'm just gonna go put gas and then we're gonna take off. And I'm a little early, so we're gonna try to go eat somewhere. At Sonic! And I don't know, this is my makeup for today. Hold on. Hey, look at that nice peach. Hey, Dad. Hey, what is that? What is that? And we're gonna buy. Um, Okay. <sighs> what time is it? <laughs> it's like two something right now, I think. Tonight? I just got out of the doctor <coughs> for the sonogram. Okay, the speech. Hold on. Okay. And now I have to see my sonogram. So I have to see her twice a week. Yeah. And I had asked her if he was running out of room. She said no, not yet. And it kind of concerned me because she's she got done and then she goes okay I'll be back. So I was like, what's going on? Like what's happening? And then she came back and I told her I had preeclampsia and uh, I told her if everything was okay with the baby because she kind of just got up and she's like okay I'll be back. And she said yeah that everything was good with him, but since I have preeclampsia I have to. That's how they, I guess, do stuff, I guess, I don't know. She has to see me every, she has to see me twice a week now. So I'm gonna have three appointments a week. Yeah, three appointments a week. Three. Oh my gosh. So I'm just praying for the Lord just to help me. <laughs> just to help me because it's, it's been like, she checked my blood pressure and it was 119 over I forgot the bottom number. Okay. But I think the bottom number was high. And we just finished eating lunch. We ate at Kane's. No KFC. But I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna talk to my husband and we're gonna meet the teacher. I couldn't record in there because um, she kinda came <clears throat> she kind of came pretty fast, uh, so it was like a quick, a quick, um, a quick check. Hi. But uh. Too heavy. Ready? Yeah. Too heavy. Too heavy. <laughs> wow, sober. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I can't do too heavy. Let's go to first grade. Um, 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 Dad, we gotta see a snake. No. Come on. Get on. Okay, Let's go get on. I'm ready. Who's ready to go to first grade? I'm Dad is. <laughs> I think you're ready. <laughs> I think Mom's ready for you. I'm ready. We're gonna go meet the teacher. Uh, can I just be? Yeah. I'm heading. I'm like, I'm 
Let's go meet your teacher, see who it is. Hopefully she's very patient. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully she's patient and nice. Oh, no. Like your for your like your kindergarten teacher. Oh, no. We're gonna go meet the teacher. <sighs> I'm so tired. Dad. So hot. Dad, Dad, I hope it looks like it's gonna rain. I don't know if y'all can see that. It looks like it's gonna rain. <sighs> but we're headed that way. See you in a little bit. <sighs> okay, we're back. Um, we came to Walmart after we met the teacher. Um, but his teacher is so nice. I'm not gonna say her name, but she is very, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm excited for. She's very excited because I guess for summer school that was his teacher in summer school, and so she's excited that he's in there. And I don't know. It's I felt really good being in there. Like she's a really nice teacher. Um, but I'll put pictures here. Just a couple. I just took a couple pictures. There's so many people in there. There's so so many people. Like, oh my god. There's so many people in there, and I was like, man, I don't know. We had this many kids. <laughs> Because I live in a very small, small town. Like, I think the most is like 3,000 people here. And there are so many kids there. But, um, but yeah, everything, um, everything came out good. He, a lot of his friends that he had in kindergarten, um, because I guess first grade, they start switching classes. They start, um, how would you call it? Rotating, I guess. And his main class doesn't a lot. I don't think I think he only has like one one friend in there that he talked to, and all the rest of them are separated. So, but I know he's gonna do good because he's he was very excited last year. He cried last year. He cried a lot. <laughs> so we're praying this year that he's he's gonna do good. I know he's gonna do good. But oh my gosh. I am so exhausted. Like, my feet are already swollen again. They weren't swollen this morning. This morning they were dead, like they were normal, they were good. But now they're very, very swollen and they're starting to hurt. And man, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home and, and lay down. <laughs> but I know it's gonna be a good year for him. We're praying it's gonna be a good year for him. And I'm ready to take all this off, all this makeup, put my hair up, put on some comfortable clothes, and just lay down. So, they're already coming. They, I sent them to get drinks here at Walmart. Look at him. They get drinks and ice. So, okay, I'll let you go. Okay, so we're gonna find Swappies at. The, the Swappy book. So we're gonna open it up to find Swappy, see what he's find Swappy's brother. So I went down below and ring the bell saying that was the video. Okay, so we are gonna find, can we find him? Yeah, in, in the, in the Swappy book. Yeah, right mom? So we're gonna open it. Oh, no, we need a key. Yeah, we need a Swappy key so we can open it. See, Swappy's in there or not? Swappy's gonna fail us. If we, if we don't know what his brother name is, he'll open down below and he'll ring the bell to know it's a video. Peace out.
think I'm in frame. I don't know if I am or not. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm like really, really tired. Oh. But. But yeah. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I didn't put no foundation. I just put this stuff on. But I'm gonna take it off. Because. Um. Where are the wipes? Hold on. I think we're good. I think. Oh. I'm so ready to take those off. But <clears throat> something that I found interesting that my doc that the sonogram doctor said was she asked me if my doctor she asked me did he tell you how long you're gonna stay pregnant for and when she told me that i was like i can ask him <laughs> like i can ask him i can tell him i want him out now <laughs> but i've never heard that before i've i've never heard any doctor say something like that before and so monday guess what i'm gonna do <laughs> monday i'm gonna ask how much how much longer like because I can't I can't do it no more like not because of emotion or anything like that but it's painful like he is so far up here that is just like it just hurts and when we're walking with um during meet the teacher i wanted to stay there a little longer and talk to her to his teacher and just like explain to her how he is and i don't know i like to do that i like to explain like who my son is what to expect from him because if i was a teacher <laughs> i wouldn't want any surprises like i wouldn't want like if he has a temper or like you need to let me know let me know so I wanted to talk to her more but in the little booklet that they gave us I had wrote on there things that he his strengths and his weaknesses and what to expect from him and all that stuff so, I'm so out of breath. Oh my gosh. And then we had to go to Walmart after. And I was so ready to come home. I was so ready to come home and just lay down. And, and then Monday, I have two doctor's appointments on Monday. I have a sonogram appointment and a regular doctor's appointment. And so that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. But I just hope that they don't do that monitor thing because I have to pick up my son at 320 or something like that. And I just hope that they don't, you need to stay here till five. I don't know. But I don't want to end the vlog here. I hope y'all liking this these vlogs because I like making them. They're fun to make. Man, this morning my son was like I think he was doing the mocking and the I think he was doing it on purpose. Like he knew I wasn't for it today, 
and he was extra ornery today and I was trying really hard to just be like oh, calm down don't get mad don't get mad but I was like um <laughs> I was ready to just send him off to school already <laughs> I don't know he was very he was extra today so I don't know I don't know what his thoughts were, but <sighs> but tomorrow he starts school. <laughs> he starts school tomorrow, first grade. That's still crazy to me. First grade. Um, we had three miscarriages before him, and when he came, it was like surreal like if it didn't feel real and it, it, it like we're in the hospital i remember it so clear i remember i remember being on the table in the c-section the next thing i remember was holding him and looking at him and then i like knocked out and then I, the next thing i remember was the nurse coming in and it was already the next day the nurse came in and she had asked us if we wanted like if they wanted us to bring him in and my husband was like yeah go like we yeah we want him in here and i remember them rolling him in there and he was all covered up like he was all he was all swaddled up and he had a little toboggan on and you could really see his face and I had just had the C-section and I was hurting really bad still. And I was sitting in the rocker and I couldn't really see see him. And like all I could see was the blanket and things like that. And like it felt unreal. Like I didn't want to touch him. <laughs> like I didn't want to, like I didn't want to touch him and then like it just pop. And it's like, oh, it's just a dream. Like it was so surreal. I, re I remember that so clear and then I finally got to hold him and he was just sound asleep and now he's gonna be in first grade and fixing to be in flag football and his life is starting already and man I don't know it's it's so surreal to me it's still so like and this like me right now being pregnant it feels the same way like after after my first son we had uh four miscarriages after him and so it became like a it's never gonna happen it's never gonna happen it's never gonna happen type of thing and ty like type of you know thought and now that I'm nine, I'm nine months pregnant. Tuesday, I was not, I turned nine months. And now that it's like here, it still, I think that's why the complaints and that's why like, cause it doesn't feel real. Like it doesn't, even like in the middle of the night, he has a schedule already. So he wakes up like every hour, two hours and He's just kicking and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel real. Like it doesn't feel, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I think that's why I complain so much and that's why it's hard for me to grasp the enjoyment of being pregnant because it doesn't feel real. Like it doesn't feel. And then Saturday, um, some of the sisters from church are throwing a baby shower for me like that that too doesn't feel like it just feels like I'm going to somebody's baby shower it doesn't feel like I don't know it just it doesn't feel real I don't know but I know it is <laughs> it's very real and but I haven't grasped that like I haven't like I have I have all the baby stuff here the crib, everything, everything's there. And still I walk in here and it's like, I don't know, like I've, me and my husband have been waiting for this, man, 
We've been waiting for this for so long and like it's finally here. And and I think that's why too it's hard to grasp it because my doctors like they don't even they're just waiting like we're just waiting to see what's going to happen because I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why they're waiting. I don't know why they're just so I don't know. I don't know. It just feels I wanted to I think that's why I wanted to be here because I want to touch him and I want to hold him and I want to okay now it's real now like it's real <laughs> I don't know but hopefully Monday I'll get some answers I hope I pray that I get something like it's gonna be a week or it's gonna be two weeks or it's gonna be in September or just I just need something I need some kind of answer to I'm tired of just waiting like I don't know because he tells me September 10th but I'm not gonna you're not gonna make it to September 10th so okay so when is it when is I don't know he said that he's going on vacation in September the end of September something like that and he's like I want to be here to deliver for you so I don't I don't know I don't know when when it's gonna be or I don't know I just want him here that's what I want that's a cute little makeup bag my sister Lindy got me for my birthday I really want to use it as a purse but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use it as um for the baby like to put the pacifiers and like I have a little box a little black box a small it's like this like wipes but it's real thin it's like really thin and I'll put that in here and like um the little bibs and stuff like that and put it in here because I was gonna put like makeup and stuff in here but I don't know I don't, I don't really wear that much makeup anymore um and then I was gonna do like my purse like this will be my purse because I don't carry a big purse I just carry my wallet and my lotion <laughs> that's that's it but I don't know I'll probably put like baby stuff in here like a little carry lotion and the carry wipes and like things on the go I think that's what I'm gonna do but I really like it it's really cute I really really like it a lot but she gave it to me for my birthday and I keep these this was where my lashes my lashes was in but I already used them <laughs> but the box is cute so I don't know but anyway that's like way off subject but tomorrow, I think I'm going to record um, the uh, diaper bag and my bag, I think, tomorrow. And I'm going to upload it Saturday. I don't think I'm going to upload tomorrow, Friday. I'm going to upload Saturday. So, But if you are liking these vlogs and y'all stay to the end, um leave me a thumbs up a like subscribe all that goodness and remember to always stay focused i know at times it's really hard i know it's hard because it's hard for me <laughs> but when you switch your mindset to f stay focused on christ and when you switch your mindset to you know what i'm not gonna sit here and dwell i'm not gonna sit here because ultimately you you can't change nothing you can't if you're in a situation where you you can't do anything why worry why worry about it why lose your peace over something that you can't change leave it in god's hands and let him worry about it let him work it let him open the door of opportunity let him do it because he's the god of of creation he can create things out of nothing out of out of you know nothing and 
if you have faith in him and you follow him and you believe in him and you start leaving your worry and your doubts and your fears and you know things of 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 things that you can't control when you start leaving those things in his hands he makes it happen and if he doesn't make it happen then it wasn't meant for you it wasn't meant for your life it wasn't meant because you also have to remember that god works in the background he works in the background protecting us of things that we don't even know that he's protecting us from and if you force something that you think that you want or out of your own desire it's it's he'll let go he'll let go and Okay, Priscilla, you want to do it by yourself? Then I'll let you do it by yourself. And he's done that before. He's, okay, you want to do it? You want to struggle? There you go. I'll let you struggle. And so I'm telling you by experience, and I'm telling you by what I went through, leave it in God's hands and have faith in him because he will open the door. You can't do anything, no amount of anything you know, if it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. If it is meant for you, then God will open the door for you. So, I just want to leave you with that because I'm running out of breath. Oh my gosh. And last night, I went to sleep sitting up because I couldn't lay down. I, if I would lay down, it would hurt really bad. My sides would hurt and the top of my stomach is hurting a lot. And so I had to sleep sitting down. <laughs> I did that with him too, with my son. I know the last like couple of weeks, like the last week, I had to sleep sitting up, sitting down, and that was horrible. But I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep pushing. I don't know, maybe you will get a vlog tomorrow because I'm gonna be by myself tomorrow. So I don't know. But I will let y'all guys go. Hope y'all have a great night, a great day, a great evening. Whatever you're doing. If you're cooking in the background, I hope it turns out delicious. I hope your family loves it. If you're not cooking, if you're doing something else, then I hope everything turns out great. If you're cleaning, girl, get it. Clean that house. Clean your apartment. Clean wherever you live. But thank you for listening, for supporting, for watching, <laughs> for hearing my complaints. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I just want to close out the vlog. And yeah, have a great night. <laughs>